Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Asian Report for the 15th of May and starting with the ASX on the daily chart here. So um, a few points to be made here that we've made before is that um, we're counting five waves up through here and um, looking at wave three, four here and one and two and three and four and five here. Wave four is overlapped wave one here. The other way that I could, well, there's two other ways I could count this is I could count this as um, as a as a running flat correction, which would be uh, an A wave to here, a B wave to here, and then wave four sitting over here. So that's possible at that point. Okay, that fits well uh, as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave here. <clears throat> um, the way that we've got the, um, the the US market is basically we've got wave three sitting over here um, with this little this little high here being wave five here. But um, the problem uh, with that is that this little this this is this would be a wave four here and this would be a wave four here. But this wave four here should be bigger than this one. So it just doesn't feel right, you know. It's just not the right. Um, just not the right thing. So I'm a little bit confused here. But one thing I can say is that um, with the trading levels, I know that once the market has been trading above uh, this this space here, then if the 6.2 here becomes the retested resistance, then we would have a bearish market in play. Okay, so we just need to be mindful of, of this particular level here. So we do need to see the market push up from here. So um, I'll leave it at that. All I can say is this is not quite resolved yet. It will be in hindsight, um, but at the moment um, we just need to uh, sort of I'll keep stay with this particular count here. This count down here, we'll have a look at that before we look at tactics for the upside here. So there's a couple of ways to count this move down through here is that if I counted this here as an A wave here, a B wave here and one and two and three and four and five here for the C wave, I could label it wave A here because the wave B here pulled right up to the 61.8% mark here. So that would be valid. The other way to count this of course is the way that um, I've been counting it, if I can just copy these for a moment, is wave one here wave 2 here and then wave 3 here, wave 4 here and wave 5 down here. Um, this is sort of okay but the problem with this though is that um, well it all started with this gap here where this market, this move up, if I count this here as one and two and three and four and five here, this wave four overlaps wave one here. Uh, well, not that one, that's not important. This one here is important to this one here. So that overlaps there, so that's a problem. And then this wave four here, this wave four overlaps this wave one here. But this one here, what it was really doing, it was pulling back up to the wave four of one lesser degree. So this is not really the problem here, it's this one here. So um, this can certainly count down as five waves here. If it's going to count down as five waves, then it's um, it's okay to see an A and a B and a C here to come into this space here, the 61.8%, uh, and then move down here again. So I could only really turn bullish if the 63 here became a really nice support here. And at that point we can trade long. It's tried to find support here a couple of times and failed. But if it finds support over here, then we can turn bullish and we'll be to the upside. We need to be mindful that the market can move to the downside, even though I don't know what the count is. I can't be right all the time. But I think it's important for me to, to also say when, when I don't know um, or when I'm wrong and all those sorts of things. So we're all sort of clear on, on my confidence level of things. So yeah, um, this can count down as an A wave and a B wave and a C wave. Um, it also can count down as five waves. So we need to be mindful. Um, so obviously the, the US markets are up overnight. So we're going to see a bit of a bounce in the market. So we'll see it up 
up today. Um, but the, the point is, is that, um, you know, what does this particular look, what does this trend here look like in, in moving up as well? So on the hourly chart here, um, this is kind of the US count where I've got basically five waves coming down through here and would be looking for an A wave up to, well, the, the, 61, the 50 and the 61.8% of the last move down from, from wave four to wave five here. So um, we can expect this to move up into this space. Then it also can move from, it may even go a little bit higher to the 6.3 there, but um, I'll just take it to there for the moment. Uh, and then looking at an ABC pattern coming back down to the 62.50 as, as the support, even though it can come down further. Uh, and then we'll see a move to the upside here. But that would only give us three waves up here as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave coming into this space here. So um, it might turn into a more positive uh, scenario, but I just want to leave the more negative one here to make us more cautious of anything that we do here at this stage. So, um, yeah, we've just got to work through this little move through here. Um, uh, it, this little move, an A wave can be in three waves or five waves, so it's a little bit tricky to. So until it's complete, um, I won't know what it, what it is. Um, but we can expect it into the box here, um, and then well, basically having a correction through group two here, the uh, 65, 72, and and 80 here. So um, the U.S. markets, um, I'll just. You know, it's gone for its little bounce to the upside. And I'll just bring in that here for a moment. Um, yeah, this is the same thing here, uh, moving up through through here. This could end up in, in I'm still working on it, it's, it could end up in an A and a B and a C wave to here um, or or in five waves. So that's not much help at this stage either. So yeah, all I can say at this stage is that um, all in all, we should push up um, higher, but um, I've just got this lingering five wave structure to the downside here. So it can put us into, um, uh, into a bearish mode. So we're just going to have to be patient for a few days until we can get a bit of a grip on it. But if you want to trade long to the upside, well then that's, that's okay. That's the direction that we'll be heading. For the other markets, the uh, Indian market here, with the Nifty here, we've been looking at this. The thing with this market, it's, it's quite interesting really, if I can get hold of, um, this is the Hong Kong market, we'll look at that in a moment, but um, This this market here, this is this is the BSE. Okay, so there's a couple of interesting points I want to make here. Is that we've had this move down through here, which is which is um, which is corrective, but also this move up through through. This is a daily chart, of course, um, coming back to 2018. This move up through here, it really looks like it counts as as a as a you know, this is the only consolidation in here. So we'll have five waves here. We'll have some type of correction in here and then another five waves up here. And this also looks like five waves down here. So this looks like an A wave, a B wave and a C wave coming down through here. So it really only had this, this trend here is very much like this trend over here. So the, from this low here, we can count five waves up here we can count five waves up into this space uh, here. We know that all this is corrective here. So we're kind of seeing uh, an ending diagonal triangle in, on, a, on a big scale here by the looks of it for the BSE, the top 30 there. So it's a little bit tricky to count here. I mean, I, I can't count this up here as five waves up here. Um, so, but it also has taken the top out here as well. So it's likely this is a B wave here, um, or like the ending diagonal triangle that I mentioned, um, and then this one here as well. This one here has dropped right quite low compared to the last trend here, so that could also do the same as well. Currently, the move down through here is only in three waves, 
Um, but the speed at which this has moved down through here, it you know, it makes it, um, you know, gives it a bit of credibility as a third wave down. So we'll need to see if we get a fourth wave and a fifth wave. So that would be one and two here. Um, otherwise, this would be the fourth wave and that would be the low here. And then we need to move up from that point. I just wanted to show you this because I don't have the nifty on, uh, on, on this charting program here. I just have the BSE here. But I just wanted to point out the difficulty of, of this particular structure and this particular structure uh, here. If, um, if, this, if this market here finds five waves down as one and two here and three here and four here and five here, well, then we'll simply go up 50 or 60 percent and then we'll come down again from there. So just um, with that in mind, this move coming down through here, I could label it as an ABC pattern here. And um, otherwise, if we get five waves down here, then that changes it as well at that point. So let's just drill in here a little bit. So from the top here, um, I can look at it as an A wave, a B wave and five waves. down here for the C wave here so that really needs to be the low here but if this market is going to push up this is the this little area here this is the the wave four of one lesser degree over here and also the 38.2 percent retracement level here so if we're going to see a bullish move here we need this level here this is 11,000 so then we we'll have 100 200 and 300 which makes up group one and this is the top of group one so we would need to have support on top of 11,300 for this market to be bullish. It's really as simple as that. So um, obviously it will move in line with some of the other markets, but um, all these Asian markets uh, have their own identity and they will also be doing their own thing, but um, in in uh, on a day-to-day -day basis because of the news that's coming out with the, with, uh, the US and uh, China. So, yeah, I mean, that's simple as that. All I can say here is that this market can move up to here and it can move down here, giving us five waves. If it finds support here, then we can go up from here. Finding support here would, would you know, takes takes a good couple of sessions to, to, to unwind here. So I really need to leave that at that. And we'll have a look at Hong Kong. So Hong Kong's in the same same boat as well. Um, the move, this is a four hour chart, the move down here appears to be, um, well, the same thing. It appears to be in so far it's in, in three waves, but um, uh, yeah, I just need to talk about this a little bit. So from this top here down to here, um, I, count, I can't count five waves just yet. So um, it's possible that this market can also just go to here. I mean, I can't count five waves in this particular structure. So this can also go to here. Well, even a little bit higher, actually, it could go. The thing here is that, let's just get this organized here. So this is the wave four of one lesser degree here, which is quite high. And this is the 38.2% retracement level. So technically, um, this market can move anywhere up into this space here. This little move here looks impulsive, so we'll probably go higher here. So having an A and a B and a C here is fine, but we could also um, come down lower from here as well. I'll show you this count in a moment, um, but this can also move down for this here because I still need to get five waves in here. So if I go to, uh, well, we go to the one hour chart here. So from this top area through here, um, I mean, I can't see what's happened in here. So I'm just assuming this is wave one here. It's possible that this is wave one over here, and then we would have one and two and three and four here and five here, and then that would be fine at that point. So that's possible because I can't see inside there. So I'll just put that there and, and dull it out a little bit. But otherwise, this sharp move down through here would be wave one and two here, and this is one and two and three, an A and a B and a C for wave four and down for wave five just to make wave three. So this here, this little move here looks impulsive. 
Um, it's got nice support here. This is corrective across here, so it should pop up here. Um, so um, if it goes an A and a B and a C wave into this space, then it can fail from that point. But if it goes one and two and three and four and five here and gives us five waves up, then we know where we are at that point. But we'll have an A, B, C pattern back here and then we can go up here further. So I don't know if we're going to get five waves here or we're just going to get three waves within this space. It may just cover this gap here um, and then drop down. But it doesn't seem that the main point here, it doesn't seem from B wave to C wave here, even as a wave four, um, I don't see five waves there yet. And if I've made a mistake, it would be in here, which would be wave one here, wave two here, wave three here, wave four here, and wave five here for wave one. And then that would give us the five waves. So, <clears throat> but that's, <clears throat> that's kind of moving into the guessing game a little bit. Um, so I've noted it. I'm, I'm unsure about that. Um, we just need to see how things develop. Um, like I said, Hong Kong uh, stocks will open stronger. Um, so we'll see this move up from, from this point here. This does make a nice setup if across here, breaking into a new high here would give a long trade there. That would be a setup because the market's moved up in five and then it's moved sideways, which is corrective. It's sitting on nice support, so the stop would go under that. Um, but it does need to make a new high above above that um, space there. So I'll leave that at that. Alrighty. Um, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.